in this video i am going to talk about azure function app so let us uh, get the agenda for this video so first i will introduce what is the azure function what all about then we create a new function app in azure portal and for that we will create one java project in eclipse and we will deploy that java project into azure function app that i will show you and once everything has been set up then i will test this function app with call command web browser in azure portal and of course we monitor all the activities in the azure portal so let us start what is the azure functions azure function is the service function that execute your piece of code when some event is triggered so why it is called the service solutions or the service functions because you no need to provision any infrastructure that will be taken care by the cloud provider cloud provider in this case azure so what happen that you have to just write the code without having any virtual machine on where you will deploy just to write the code your job is done and you have to configure on which event it will work so what is the event here so if you see there are the many events so one is the http trigger so suppose if any url is there if you hit the url then that some function will be executed like that we have many event timer event uh, cosmo db trigger so in the cosmo db triggers if you any add update in the database then event is trigger and then event could be execute your function app like that you have the block trigger queue trigger there are the many triggers are there and you can define on which event that your um, serverless function app would be executing and the interesting thing is that you can write your code in multiple language .NET, C, has Java, JavaScript, Python so in your team if you have the pipe team member they know the different language no problem they can create the mini function app in the different language so it is this flexibility you would be getting and more interesting part you no need to keep your code as function app in the azure and you have to pay no need to pay until unless your code is not going to executing so only for the executing time you have to pay the money and another interesting part is that this azure function is scalable so during execution of the function if demand is increased then azure automatically increase the number of the machine to fulfill the request and when the demand is reduced it automatically reduce the resources behind your serverless functions so now let us create some azure functions so <coughs> So we come on the portal .com and I hope you must have the right subscriptions to work over here, right? So if you go to the function app, you can see the function app. If it is not showing your dashboard, so come here, click all the resources and you can get the function app here. So create one function app. and create one resource uh, group i will use this one and give one uh, function name so i will give the suman demo so our complete path would be suman demo dot azure website dot net and i am going to use the java and the region is center of us that's that's it i want here let it be create and then why it is creating we have to create one java project so this is my eclipse id you can see this is the maven project so click on maven project next and here we have to choose the group id com dot microsoft 
it will come here then you have to select it so we have just filter out yeah we got it so you have to choose this one functions archetype right this one then next in my case it is pure but you have to give a uh, name and you have to give the same name with no swimmer here and yeah right group id this group id artifact this artifact then finish it it will create one project okay. and go to the pom.xml here you have to change these four things function name resource group name region and the service plan this four part we have to update according to our function app this function app has been already created now so this is our function this is the function name so copy this and change here this function name Now the resource group name. So this is our resource group name. Copy in resource group name. You have to change. Now the app service plan name. This is the app service plan name. So click here and copy this name. Resource plan group name. Copy this. then finally you have to change the region here right so copy this is the region central us so copy this this four part four things you have to change as per you created the function app that's it now save it and i want to show something in the code what is the code so if you see here automatically they create one uh, function name http example and uh, it's not much code it is get and post and whenever you will pass the name as parameter that name he will say the hello with that name only this much is there i'm not going to change anything code i will change after some time save it what you have to go you go this folder structure I have already in the terminal if you see uh, I'm in the folder structure give the name so in the same folder structure now and here you have to execute one command this command copy paste what this command will do this command will build your code and deploy in your azure suman demo function app right now if you go here in function nothing is there but after the deployment you will see one function name here and function name would be the same this function name stt example so you will get one http example over here now if you see it is saying the authentic auth authenticate so that's why automatically they create open the page i have not opened it's open through this uh, terminal click here it is just authenticating that uh, you are the guys uh, for uploading the azure so now see it is automatically authenticating now you find out uh, our subscriptions detail and the username yes java version 1.8 now it will try to deploy our code into azure function app suman demo name is suman demo right yeah see it is trying the deployment you will get the message once it you done Now you can see that deployment has been done so now how we can get check come to the azure for me it took the almost two minutes time so you have to wait uh, to see this message deployment done now if you come here and refresh you will get one http example yeah you will get here 
right so we have successfully deployed now go go inside that yeah so now we can test here from here also we can test let it be that test our code code and test and here you can see the test and run right click here so we set up the gate make it the default anything right so just we have to pass the name so why i'm passing the name here because if you see in the code we need one name as a parameter so put the name and give the some name so i'm giving my name and that's it click on the run now you can see the activities here connected and we get see over here wow running so we got the output hello we know soon right the same thing we it, it is coming here it was our code right if you see this code so it means this is working fine now we can test with the curl command also so what is the how what how you will get the path this is the path copy it and you have to give you host how, how you can get the host go to the suman demo overview and this is the path so copy this path and put it here and you can test with any name so suppose uh, testing so this is your curve command copy and you can check in the same here and paste it here also you will get the hello testing because we're giving the name testing so i'm expecting as now see you got the hello testing right and you can use the same path same this one copy this part and open one browser and in this browser you can just here also you can get the hello testing so it's working fine now one if you see here we have the one monitoring part right let me show you go to the function in http example you have the monitor so monitor will show that how many times you have executed uh, call this api so we have called three times but it is showing one time only so it will come it takes some few minutes time to update here but at least go here and see all the output here right and you can you have noticed this one log message is coming java http trigger process the request so because we have given inside the code java http process is trigger so if you want to you on another logs so you can add another log here and i can give that what the name you have entered you have enter this name see this name is coming in the string query so this name here put this part right. also if you want to change some here hello and we can say how are you today right we can see and even if you want to create one more method you can do it i want one more method this time this is the my method and you can change uh, whatever you want here so suppose i want this is my method log output from my method and you can just save it and you have to change the method name because you have this method name already run so you have to do the anything execute and save it after saving you have to again 
go and write this command maven install package azure and that will be the build and again they will deploy into the azure right so again they want to authenticate send come to here if sometime you get the timeout exception then please again execute the same command see here they automatically find out which way is the function app because we have given this function name uh, inside the uh, pound.xml right if you remember so monday wait it we deploy yeah it is successfully done right now come to azure and here go to the summon demo and go to the function here and refresh it now you can see the two method why your two method because in the code we have the two method now right so one the name is the http example and second name is the my method right so again first with the uh, uh, check uh, the http example only because we have changed the code here test or we have already this url right you can not this url this url just hit the same url you will get a different message hello testing how are you today right and if you want to the curl command you can also use the curl command you will see, see here hello testing how are you today okay. Now, if you want to execute the other another method, so another method name is my method, right? So go here, copy the complete, and instead of the HTTP example, put the my method, and now if you run this one. Right. This time running the my method, so I will get the output from my method. Yes, and what is the output of the my method? If you see here, hello output from my method. You can see hello output from the my method. Right? It means everything is working. Come here, and I want to. Okay, if you want to test from here, you can also test. This time you can do the test from the post, no problem. And I can completely remove this part and say you the default key in run. You can get no human hold you today. Even if you want to test the my method from here we can test it so go to the code and test and give the gate name and run it you will see have output from my method right both are working now you go to the monitoring part and go here now you can see our logging also so this is my method log right and you have entered this name this log is coming from this part right you have entered the name and this is my method okay so this is all about uh, the function app Please subscribe this channel because a lot of effort is going behind to create the video.